Hi, Handy fans, and welcome back to Handy A's Gameplay. Today, we're back with the test. The Hypothesis Rising. The, well, hi, yeah. <laughs> the Hypothesis Rising. For one of those days. What a morning already. Um, so, jumping into this game. Uh, this is the second from the test, number one, that we took from last week. Let's see what this one can do. Let's see what this one gives me for answers. Shall we? Before experiencing the test, I thought it was that highly recommended you play it, which we did. For test the first, next one shows, yeah, we did that already. We did all the new tests already. I would like to urge you to play the test, yeah, before, yes, I did that, yes, I did, I did, I did. I already played the test. Welcome to my office. It's truly a pleasure to see you here today. Fate, huh? I don't know. After what's been going on in the world, I'm not sure if I can believe in fate right now, but that's beside the point. Please excuse the mess. I haven't had a chance to clean up yet. What were you doing? Now, I don't want to take up much of your time, blibber blabber, and nonsensical speak, so I'll just straight to the point. Okay. Sometimes we have to ask ourselves life's tough questions. No shit. There's one question in particular I'd like to ask yourself. Are you happy? I thought I was. But after what happened yesterday in Texas, I'm not happy. And when I say happy, I don't mean content. Being content is great, but it's not the same as being happy. I want to help you. I want to inspire you to be the best that you can be. I want to inspire you to be the happiest version of yourself. Okay? I want to see you grow, inside and out. Dirty. Now, how much... How do we accomplish this, you might be asking. Good question. Allow me to explain. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and they're going to be answering them in 100% entire honesty. And when I say 100% entire honesty, I mean 100% entire honesty. Think about it. Do you want to be happy, don't you? You wouldn't want to do something so bold as to tempt fate by lying, would you? Just remember, if you lie, the only person you're lying to is yourself. The only person who will suffer from this is you. And believe me, you will suffer. Not to mention the fact that whether you tell the truth or not, I'll know. But that's another story. Let's be, be go moving on, shall we? We've wasted enough time explaining what we're going to be doing. Just remember, we'll always be a good people. You all want to be good people. We all want to give the answers that we feel lead the most desirable human traits within ourselves. But sometimes, good people do bad things. And sometimes, we don't always have desirable traits as humans. I cannot express enough just how important it is to be truly honest while answering these questions, no matter how uncomfortable the truth may make you. Now it's time to get into the real meat of this experience. It is time for you to get the advice that you deserve. As you read the question as you read the questions and scenarios during this process, I want you to create your own circumstance and build on your own bridges to arrive at it. The answer is the best suits your psyche. You've never experienced a scenario being asked of you, then simply imagine that you had tried to, ass to assume how you might feel about that situation. I'd like to invite you to a pour a glass of water, sit back, and relax as we unfold your fate and the secret to overcoming the next hurdle in your life. We're going to start off with some basic easy questions. 
Wow, music just took a turn. If you could answer these questions twice, your age uh, might change. It's not just about answering the questions, it's about many different variables. <laughs> I kind of like the other music, please. It was way better. <laughs> many different factors are here to play, including the amount of time it takes to answer the proposed questions. With that being said, it's far more important that you actually take your time and think about honest and answer your given before you give it. Whatever you do, do not rush the process. It is you, your best friend here. Time is your best friend here. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And here we go. Do you feel uncomfortable right now? No, I'm here. Are you nervous? No, not at all. Do you feel cold? No, I just feel comfy right now, actually. Do you feel sad? Right now? Yes. Because of what is going on in this world right now. And in the United States of... The divided states of America. Have you ever hurt someone because you were hurting? Even though they didn't deserve it. Yes. Yes, I did. Do you crave acceptance by others? Do I crave it? No. I don't. Have you ever lost a loved one? Too many. Do you know that... What heartbreak feels like? Oh, yes, I do. Do you believe in demons? Yes, I do believe there's evil and demonic entities. Do you believe in curses? I believe in... I mean, if you want to count curses as, like, even, like... Like, the belief of, like, karma... I guess so, yeah. Oh, yes, I'm spiritual. Are you afraid of dying alone? Oh, no, not at all. If there's undeniable proof that a ghost was haunting you, would you continue to live in your home? Well, it depends what kind of ghost we're dealing with. I'm a paranormal investigator, so this is like a whole other entity question then. Um, I guess if it's haunting me, sure, I can deal, I'll deal with it for a while, then I'll eventually figure out how to get rid of it. Yes, I have. A game to summon? Nah. Do I want to make more friends? No, I, I'm happy with the ones I got. For the most part. I just wish they would listen more. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? No. Not at all. I'm, I'm busy all the time. I don't have time for them. and Not to be mean. And then they're being across the country. And yeah. Do you feel lonely? No. I didn't lie to you. <laughs> I don't feel lonely. I'm happy. I'm way happy where I'm at now. Do you make friends easily? Yeah, I do. I do. For the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love horror movies. This music, I tell you what, though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you watch? <sighs> yes. To be a hard worker. Yeah, I do. Do you have a low opinion of yourself? I used to. Not anymore. Now I, I feel confident in myself. Yep, speak, speaking of the question, yeah, I, I do. I really think I'm confident now about who I am and what I want in life. No. No, I would not. Yeah, I'm sorry to be honest, but this is the honesty. I don't like, I'm not... I really don't like old people. They're entitled. Well, at least a lot of them are. Not all of them. Would you kill all of your neighbors? Pets? Just, just to save one of your own? All of my neighbors' pets? No, that's fucked up. I wouldn't kill an animal. 
Not like that. Have you ever tried to smother yourself with a pillow to see if you could actually suffocate yourself? Yes. Hot dancing when you thought no one was watching? Oh, yeah. Have you tried to roll your eyes back so far to see if you... Yes. Have you ever played a practical joke that you regret pulling on someone? Yeah. Come on. Chase wants to come play the test with us. Are you streaming live right now? No, not live. I'm recording. I'm recording this gameplay session right now. Yes, I am. I told you that I was watching you play this game right now. Would you believe me? Maybe down the road you were, but not right now, obviously. So, no, not, not right now, because that's obviously. If you left a comment for me at the point in time, I'd read your, I'd read your words. Does this bother you? No. I think communication's key. If you left a comment for me, does it feel positive that I'd pay attention? Take time to write? Yes, I actually do. Do you understand that no matter what, I appreciate you? Aw, I appreciate you too. Are you afraid of snakes? Oh, no, I love snakes. Do you believe in magic? I think there's wonders and opportunities and things that could happen. You cried the last month. I literally cried last night. I literally cried last night. Do you have a hero? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, I do. Unfortunately, sometimes it takes me a couple tries, but... I end up learning. Do you enjoy act or activities? Yeah, I, I mean, I do. Now, I do not consider myself to be lazy. My house is pretty clean. My life is together. I'm not drinking heavily. I'm not doing bad things to myself. No, I'm not lazy. Yes. You put the needs of others before yourself. Sometimes, but not often. I know they describe me as a sassy asshole, but kind if I had to be, yeah. Like, if it's like serious situations and stuff, yeah, yeah. Have I ever cheated in a relationship? No. No, I have not. Have I ever been cheated on a relationship? Oh, hell yeah. Would you see yourself to be a judgmental? Eh. I try not to be, but I think everybody makes judgments. Unintentionally sometimes. Um, that's just human nature. But I try to not to. I try to be the open book. But I think life experience has put me in the point of and the job that I'm in makes me not judge but definitely looks at people and go questioning their motives and you know and such just based off who they are what they're gonna do so I, I, I guess technically it's judgment so I'm gonna say yes to that I hope I'm a hero to somebody else that'd be awesome I don't know, but I, I, I'm gonna say I don't know, so I'm gonna say no because I don't know. Oh, I love animals. Literally, I have a cat in my lap right now. See, cat in lap. Oh God, no. Yeah, uh, me either. <laughs> okay, fake. Calm down. No, I do not enjoy drinking alcohol. No, I'm not. That makes one of us. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking faints an alcoholic. No, I don't like sneaky snakes. No, not really. Yes, I have a bit of imagination. Honestly, yes. But I'm not antisocial. It's such a weird mix. I used to hold grudges for long periods of time. Now, I just let it go. 
it's just easier. Yeah, who hasn't? I love pineapple on my pizza. I knew I liked you. Kiva. Would you consider yourself to be selfish? I don't. Um, I really don't. I mean, I have selfish tendencies, like everyone does, but I don't. If someone comes calls and I need help, I'm going to jump on it if I have the time. Oh, I definitely don't have a big ego. No way in hell. Me, personally... If I'm with a partner and they're, they're kinky, sure, but me, I would say no. Religious? No, not at all. Temperamental? No, not at all. I call my temper pretty well. This is some saw shit right here. If you had to kill someone to save your own life, but you knew they didn't deserve it. Would you do it? And I said, answer honestly and think about the question. Honestly, I mean, if I if I knew they didn't deserve it, I probably wouldn't. I'd probably just let myself die. Honestly, because I've already stepped to death already. So no. If I knew they did deserve it, it'd be a different, it'd be a different topic. <laughs> would you sacrifice your own life for a complete stranger? I mean, technically, the last question kind of answered that question in another form. Would you kill somebody? But that's me directly killing somebody. This one's me jumping in front of a bullet or something. For a complete stranger. After what happened yesterday, again, yeah, probably would. Instead of a burning building. I don't think so. Plenty of those. Yeah, I would. I would love to see who actually shows up. Who actually is a true friend, family, and such. No, I don't want to see the future for that part. Why not? Let's roll back. If you had the power to remove one person from Earth, whether never to return again, would you use it? Yes. Yes, I would. No. If someone threatened to kill you, would your first response to be react in violence? No, not in violence. Well, it depends on the context. If the guy has a gun on me and he's going to kill me, then I'm going to pull my gun and shoot and kill him. And that's a rib acting violence. But if the guy's just threatening me, oh, I'm going to come over here and kill you, I'd be like, okay, well, bye. No, I'd be sarcastic. For the most part. If a stranger stole money from you to support their drug addiction, or... Cross that out. Let's put alcohol addiction on that, shall we? Because I, I know people. Would you forgive them if they apologize to you? I would forgive, but I would not forget. Let's just put it that way. Oh, yeah, totally. If I, if I found out that, oh, yeah, big time. Raw squirrel brains for the three days and stay alive. Would you do it? Well, if I had to stay alive, yeah, sure. Obviously. If tomorrow no one of your family members' family remembered who you were, 
Would you choose to leave? Honestly, yeah, I would start a new life. It wouldn't be worth even trying. Because it's, I only have a small family anyways, so, I mean, I, I mean, I let them live their life and I live my life. Yeah, yeah, I would. I live in a state where a lot of homeless is actually rampant here. But the problem is, the homeless, it's, you can't tell if they're homeless or not. Some of them are liars. I've watched some of them get in their $1,000 Mercedes after trying to panhandle all day. Um, if I knew he was 100% homeless and he was clearly sick, freezing, and utterly miserable, I wouldn't just take off my clothes. I'd probably try to get him somewhere like a hospital or something so I would say yes just to that part but I would definitely if I knew for a fact hit you with their car but you suffer no injuries whatsoever would you still be upset with them I think I'd be upset the fact that they're not paying attention no not at all well I don't want to I don't got time for that Not really. Miracles happen every day. Do you agree? Not every day. Yesterday showed the dark side of what the opposite of miracles are. So no. I agree. I hate lugging around with umbrellas. Red is prettier than color than pink. Do you agree? No, they're equal. Really, Katy, really Katy Perry, really. This time, though, I agree with you. No, I love eating, so I don't give a fuck. Rings used as a rare wedding gift are so outdated. Well. He said rings. He didn't say diamond rings. So I grew the the concept of it. So not at all. No, not at all. No, nope. I'm here. Well, that's nice. Now. No, not at all. Not because I'm recording, I'm not streaming, so now, no, no, I'm not. Actually, I fucking did because I looked at the camera to see the other side over here to see what was going on. I like beaches. Yeah, I do. Yes, multiple times. Do I love my family more than I love myself? Now I know my family's been watching this anyway, so. Um, I guess in the grand scheme of things, yes, because I'm still trying to figure out how to love myself every day. I mean, most days I'm pretty good, but there's still days, so, yeah. Do you have a best friend who's clearly better than the rest of your friends? No. No, I don't. They're all equal to me. Do you think there's some kind of conspiracy behind the coronavirus? <laughs> I looked into that. I don't think so. I think it was just a failure of policies and government and politicians that caused everything that happened. Yes. Nah, not really. The two wrongs don't make a right. But would I stop him? Yeah, I probably would. 
remote island with a stranger and you're both saying death they found a secret stash of food that they didn't know about. Would you stare? I guess if I got along with them, sure. You'll have to turn back to a person till for a year? It's only a year. Fuck it. Why not? By fighting a grizzly bear to the death using nothing but your bat. Mm. Not really. Because I know bears. They're fucking big and fucking crazy. Well, potatoes are very valuable. Like, very... There's so many different options you can make potatoes. So I guess, yes, I can do things like potatoes. So why not? Let's try it. Pizza screamed in agony. Every time you bit into the piece, would you consider it? Yeah. Yeah, I would. I love pizza. If your best friend got bit by the Tulsa's by a highly venomous snake, the only way... Well, I would say no, because it, it doesn't work that way. I know for a fact it doesn't, so no. Is it a, no, because I know the answer to that question. That's why. Do you feel mortal? Yes. Oh, I hate loud music, actually. Like, it depends. Like, I like it in the car driving, but, like, at work and, like, at home, I actually hate loud, like, I can't focus, so, no. Like, quiet music, I'm good with, but. Or when you dance in front of others? No. I don't suffer from any anxiety disorders. Did, do you ever feel depressed? Well, in the past I have. Not anymore, but I'll say yes. You're not alone. Do you feel relaxed? Yeah, right now I feel really relaxed. So I'm zoning into the game, so. Do you think you have a guardian angel watching? Oh, well, hell yeah, I got two of them. All the noise called it. No. Oh, yeah. I look, cross I look both ways crossing the street on a one-way street. That's how much I trust the people. Oh, yeah. No, not anymore. I used to. Oh, hell no. Winter is disgusting. I know plenty of people named Josh. Not really. Nope, not allergic to anything. Well, they're pollen. Have you ever thought about an animal in a sexual way? No. No, 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 no. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Have you been ever been in love? Yes. Yes, I have. Artistic? Eh. Artistic. Not really. More analytical. Yeah, I think so. No. I... No. I don't, I don't think I have enough time. Oh, hell no. I don't put with anyone shit anymore. Yeah, I can be easily excitable. Do you enjoy solving complex problems? Yeah, I do. No. I like relaxing sometimes. Would you consider yourself to be a high... Maintenance. Oh, hell no. Not at all. Not anymore. Do I trust easily? Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, yeah? I'm sometimes brutally honest now. People know that about me. Have you ever told a lie? Oh, probably. Have you lied to your best friend? Probably. Oh, definitely. It's all very useful information. Are you a people pleaser? Oh, hell no. Fuck that. Fuck people. Do I enjoy center of attention? Eh. Not always. You feel like you've got a good sense of humor? Eh, I think so. I think it's funny. Are you frightened easily? Oh, no. Really? Stock. Sounds. Really? Boo. 
Oh, that was odd. I wonder what that was about. Good place for us to stop for a simple segment of our questionnaire. Just go to more gritty questions. You know there's going to be a pop-up sound effect right now. I'm prepared for it. It's coming because that they've already lit up to that. So it's coming. So I'm getting ready. Question was yes or no. Will be not yes or no. But that's what your question is filled. For the various sets of areas that have sat back. Okay, gotcha. Remember, the key to this is answer honestly. Okay. Oh, I guess not. You're home alone. It's dark, and it's storming outside. All of a sudden, there's a knock on your bedroom door. Someone's in your house. What do you do? Grab the closest thing that can be my weapon, aka my gun. Literally. That's exactly what I would do. You meet a homeless woman on the street. She asks you for money. You find within yourself to give her all the spare change you have. As you do, the homeless man approaches asking you to share his page. What do you do? Tell the man I got no hands left to offer. Yeah. Both your mother and your father are incredibly ill and in life threatening disease. Ha! <laughs> hmm, you're reading my life already? And there's only enough medicine to facilitate to save one of your parents. And it's time of the essence. What do you do? My brother knows what the fuck answer I'm answering this question as. Uh, give medical treatment to my mother. Sorry, not sorry. I've already lived with just my father, so... Time to switch it up a bit. You'd find a case of money that tucked away inside the dumpster. Inside, there's ten solid gold bars and a vial of mysterious liquid. Under the vial, there's a note that says, The cure for cancer. What do you do? The problem is, if the vial has the cure for cancer, especially in this fucking country, somebody would shut that shit down. Because if I turn the professional, the cure for cancer is just going to disappear. And I... I if anything, I would probably copy it and then give it to a professional, so I would save some of it. So I, I, if that was a part of the question, I would say yes. So I would probably say, see an entire entity, turn the case into the entity so they can utilize it. I would probably do this, but then I'd care if I can't keep a bit. So if someone tries to deny it, I'd be like, no, 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 I have peace. Here it is. You're stuck alone inside your house, and you're staying starving to death, and you're completely running out of food, and no one's coming to save you for weeks. The potential source of food is your family pets. Oh, Chase, would I eat you? Would I eat you? Kill eat my pets so I can survive through your starves long with it. Eat me so that I can survive until... Probably that. I love my pets. I love my cat. I love my dog. Your neighbors are home, how, home is on fire. A blaze of fire among the smoke and meds on the windows. You hear screams for help coming from within, but you can't see past the flames. No one else is around the site. What do you do? Well, I'll definitely call the fire department. That's always the first thing I want to do. I think call the fire department. I like that. You're fast asleep in your bed, and when you're awakened by it, it sounds like a woman's muffled cries from somewhere in your room. You quickly realize it's coming from your, under your bed. What do you do? Immediately look under the bed. Yeah. Yeah, I look under the bed. Oh, Lord Jesus. A man in a fancy suit approaches you while you're walking down the street. He pulls a watch from his pocket and hands it to you and claims that when this watch stops ticking, it marks the moment your time runs out of on Earth. What do you do? 
Thank the watcher, thank you for the gift. You're sitting home playing a game on your PC. Hi! <laughs> when all of a sudden, someone grips and squeezes your shoulder firmly behind. What do you do? Well, I see the camera, so I would see that, so... But I already know there's nothing behind me. There's literally a wall. And the doors are all in front of me here. So I know for a fact that it would not be a human. A vicious elbow. It would be kind of hard though, because that wouldn't work that well. I could use a massage. <laughs> Honestly, probably because I'm sassy and. You're sitting in the bathtub, trying to relax. When a hand emerges from the water, what do you do? A solid fist bump. Fist bump. Push under water so you get some free hand action. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Um, I'd probably just get the fuck out of the bathtub. Get out of the bed and immediately you fall down a deep, dark hole. A man is above you, walking down, telling you to pull the lotion in his kid while he watches when you start screaming, start slathering yourself in lotion. Smart choice. Yep, if you see the movie, you know. You're sitting at home, alone, and all of a sudden, your door slams shut. You see... It before your very eyes and don't know what it's all man because it could have been a ghost and it couldn't have been a gust of wind what do you do look for a weapon around the room someone you know for many years had been no attraction tells you that they have a massive crush on you for a long time what do you do So I know this person, but I don't have any sort of feelings or attraction of any sort to them. But they tell them that you feel dating might not ruin the friendship. Tell they're flattered, but just not interested. Yeah, flattered, not interested. One of those types. What do you mean, one of those types? I just, I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm not attracted to the person. I'm not going to try to lie to them about it. Your dog starts randomly barking into the darkest corner of your living room. It doesn't appear to be anything, but the dog assistant successfully growls. What do you do? Well, it hasn't happened yet with my puppy, so I don't... But if it did, um... Probably said I would actually be that person. You see more a massive spider in your room. The size of your hand. What do you do? Well, I guess I'm moving out. Burn the entire house down. It's the only way to be safe. Capture it alive. Your closest family member tells you that they are a serial killer. I can see this. I don't want to know any more details. Yeah. I, I don't want to know. Just, okay, cool, you're a serial killer. Great. I don't want to know anything else. If you found out that you have one day left to live, what do you do? Tell no one. Just act like the day has never changed. Yep. Because today could be my last day. Tomorrow could be my last day. We don't know. So, live it. One of your pets started speaking to you and told you that they've got a dire warning. That they were going to die if you didn't let them all eat the ice cream in the freezer. Would you do it? I'm going out. I'm obviously too high for this. <laughs> yeah, probably. Give them the ice cream they can handle. Don't give them the ice cream. You're not going to fall for that one. Yep. If all of a sudden you could start hearing other people's thoughts and a person texts you is thinking about mugging you and stealing your money, what would you do? Yeah, so, because if I start attacking first, that's automatically their self-defense, and they get the light. They get the right away. They fucking yeah. 
Sounds reasonable, right? Your best friend comes to you and tells you that they are accidentally killed someone and they don't want to go to prison. Why are you going to go to prison? Well, if it's an accident, it depends on what we mean by accident. self defense or insanity. Yeah. Sorry. Not hiding a body for you. You're driving in your car and you accidentally run someone over. You're pretty sure that they're okay, but the fact that their head is clearly decapitated from their body <laughs> suggests that it's probably wishful thinking. Do you want me the person calls you out of prison? <laughs> Try to hope it's all nothing what you did. With science today, I would just turn myself in. There's no way I'm gonna get caught. Next time we move on to the portion of our test. Okay. The following questions shall be asked if you would you rather style questions. Okay. Imagine you got you've got a gun to your head and you absolutely must choose an answer. Okay. We can do this. No matter how uncomfortable that may be. Let's get started, shall we? Would you rather be loved by all or feared by all? I would never want anyone to be feared by all, so loved by all. Would you rather Never get angry or never get jealous. Well, jealousy is like a small form of anger. It can turn to anger. So I can never get jealous. I can, I still get angry, but... I, I don't like anger, though. Like, it takes a lot to get me flustered. Like, even yesterday, like, it takes a lot. So it takes a lot. So I, yeah. Would you rather be held on a high regard of your by your parents or by your friends? Oh, by my friends. Would you rather live in space or under the sea? Under the sea. Would you rather donate your body to science or donate to your organs to people who need them? People who need them, I'm actually an organ donor, so. Would you rather go to jail for five years for something you didn't do or get away with something horrible you did but always live in fear of being caught? Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, I have... I know people who've gone to jail and I know people who've gone to jail for, well, either things that were not their fault or indirectly and such and it was just a fucked up system um so and they came out like totally different from a human being so I guess living in fear honestly would you rather work at a horrible job that you hate but retire comfortably in 10 years from now or would you rather have your dream job, but work until the day you die. Dream job. Because at least I love what I do, that I don't care. It's not a job. Would you rather... Would you rather every... Every shirt you'll ever wear to be something, somewhat itchy, or only be able to use one ply toilet paper? I've already used one ply toilet paper. I could rather deal with that. I could, that's easy to deal with. Would you rather have skin that kept... Change its colors depending on your mood, or have a tattoo appear on your body that depicts what you did yesterday. The tattoos, because I have a tattoo. I still try to show it every time. But I can't show it at the camera angle. So, yeah, let's do the appearing tattoos. Would you rather shit every time you orgasm, or add orgasm every time you see a dog? I saw that. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go with the dog. Well, yeah. If your partner switched bodies with one of your parents, and the only way to get them back is to switch them back, and to switch back was to have sex with one of them, would you rather have sex with your partner in the parent's body or have sex with your parent in your partner's body? No, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just answer the question. No, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? 
Well, I guess it's my partner's body, so I wouldn't even know. So, yeah, let's go with that. I guess I left these types of questions. I'm sure they agreed. We're going to end the test with a short series of final questions. Okay. Out of the following options, which number do you like the most? Seven. Out of the following options, which color do you represent the best exact moment? Green. I don't know why. Out of the following options, which creature were you at least comfortable around? Dogs, scorpions, snakes, spiders. I think scorpions. Out of the following options, which flavor is your favorite? Chocolate, vanilla, peanut butter, mint. Chocolate. Out of the following options, which do you personally value the most? Family, friends, money, freedom. Friends. Out of the following options, which would you most live without? Which could you most live without? Family, friends, money, freedom. Sorry, family. Uh, the following options, which statement is the most accurate? I am brave, I am caring, I am smart, I am attractive. I am brave. Uh, the following options, which are the most afraid of? Living forever? Losing my loved ones? I've already lost loved ones so many times, it's becoming numb. Dying alone? Not afraid to die alone at all. Dying immediately after this test is finished now. So living forever, I would say. Yeah, I would hate to live forever. Have you ever punched... We're back with that question again. No, I have not punched a nun. I'll try sometime. It certainly uh, takes the edge off. All right, we're going to... I'm just going to calculate results carefully. I don't want to miss anything important. I'm trying to be absolute hardest to... Uh, not to judge you right now. I'm trying to keep as professional as possible. Ha, huh, here we go. Based on what I've told me, I've come to a conclusion. This is what I personally believe would be your best intent to acknowledge, set in motion, to accomplish in order to climb the ladder of happiness in your life. Okay. First and foremost, I'd like to start with a blanket statement that everyone truly needs to hear. Something that is taken for granted far more than anything else in life. Something that has such an incredible, unique, and irreplaceable value compared to any other thing on this earth. And that, my friends, is the value of time. Time is the most valuable form of currency you'll ever hold in life. You can spend time on anyone doing anything for any reason. Now, time can be spent, time can be wasted, and time can be taken away. But time can never be refunded, can never be given earned back, and more time can never be gained. Imagine a bank account that with all the money that you'll ever spend in your life. Now, imagine not knowing that how much money that, that is in that account. Imagine going to the store one day to purchase something you really need, and the cashier tells you, I'm sorry, but you can't afford that. As a matter of fact, you can never afford anything ever again. We only have so much time, and we have no idea how much or how little we truly have before our bank accounts run dry. And the fact that we get to decide and choose what we spend our time on just shows how much truly special it is when someone spends it, their time on you. So now that we understand the incredible value of time, I'd like to take a suggestion for you personally on how you think you'd best spending your time in order to achieve what you need most at this current stage of your life. Let's see here. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if you know this or not, but you are incredibly talented. And when I said talented, I don't mean just a simple, generic way. I mean you have a lot of offer. The world with your ability. Now I think you know deep down that sort of talents you possess. But I don't think you're doing enough to make the world a better place by utilizing these talents to help maximize potential. And I think that you know that as well. My advice to you will be to spend more time with others, whether it's with your friends, family, or even random strangers, and use what you 
you're good at to teach them a little of what you know. If you just take more time to help other people who aren't really nearly as special as you are, and let's be honest, not everyone is created equally. You just got the luck of the draw here. Then you'll feel a lot more fulfilled doing great things for deserving people just by being you. You have no idea how many people there out there in the world have so much to gain just from knowing you and experiencing what you have to offer. And one day, they'll return the favor when you least expect it. They will remember that you spent the time on them and how you made them feel, and you will be heavily rewarded for the emotion, emotional investment in them. I think you'll be very surprised just how much of a positive impact this can change have on your life, life going forward. I hope this information helps you achieve your goals. Your secret word is talented. Remember this word. It would come in handy. Handy and the gameplay. Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of this session and leave it in the comment for us. We'll be selecting some of the base out your answers and including the future projects you're currently working on. If you do not wish to be a part of the upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we'll not select you. Share it all comments, leave it thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been some help to you. If they haven't yet, it'll all make sense very soon. One more thing. We greatly appreciate your feedback and support. We really have a single review and comment for us. We love coming to clear this. And the third final installment of this series will finally be revealed. But not a single person has been able to figure out what the entire experiment is all about yet. We'll look forward to reading your thoughts and feelings. As it helps to do it work well to you. Bottom of my hearts, thank you for everything you do. Thank you for praying, and thank you for contributing to a secret words to our projects. If you wish to support us further, if you'd like to see check out others, titles, and our other games section of the title screen. Find the test final revolution and the, the test final revolution, the third game of the trilogy, we also suggest. Okay. In the meantime, the visors. Decisions. <laughs> okay. Again, thank you for supporting the show for your appreciation. Okay, thank you. Well, that was interesting. I'm talented. I mean, I guess so. I mean, I guess. So I'll put that into the chat. <laughs> I'll put that in the test. Um, but yeah, that was good. I'll do more of these. I'm gonna have to do the next test probably next week and we'll get that out. But that was cool. Yeah, why not? Let it run. Markiplier! There he is, per Tire Bloods. All these people. Look at all these people. But yeah, I mean, this was really cool to see this game. And I really wanted to play this. And I really wanted to see what this game would bring. But talented, I mean, I guess. And I agree that I do want to. I try to give my honesty to people. I think it would be very important for people to understand that this game is a very long list, isn't it?
So they do add the list. Looks like they said up to April 23rd is the date. So I took this test a few weeks ago. So if they update again, my name will be on the list. That, I guess. That's really tense. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to let that run. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. I'll definitely put the chat in there, Discord, and there. Well, Steam, put them in there. But thank you all for watching. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. We'll be doing the third test installment shortly. And more videos will be going up more. So stick around, subscribe. I got more coming up. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!